In this video, I'll show you how we can create the menu in Material UI in React.js. So for menu, we need to use this menu component. So it will import it from this Material UI code. So inside this menu component, then we need to add some menu items. So you can see that it's also imported from Material UI code. And we can add like multiple menu items give some name for these menu items suppose i'm giving it as first the second one as the second and the third one as the third let me save it it's still not showing for that we need to create let me add it here okay we need to pass on flag it's called open true then you can see that this is the menu that is created but if i'm clicking it here or if i'm clicking anywhere then it's not moving away so for that let me add one button here so suppose i'm wrapping this everything inside a div so i'll move that div to bottom and if i'm clicking on this button then i'll call one function that will open the menu so suppose the name is open menu then i'll write it here const open menu it will get one event inside this we'll write our function to open this menu for that let me create one state it's called anchor so we need to pass one anchor where we want to show the menu suppose its value is null at when uh, this app starts we need to import this button and also we need to import its state for this button let me add one text here click me it is showing the menu always so here we need to pass this not as true we'll pass it as boolean value of the current anchor so if we have any anchor set then it will be shown and if we don't have then it will be height also we need to add one boolean property it's called keep on it and here we need one property it's called anchor real then here we need to pass the anchor also let me create one more function that will be called once the one close will be called so on close is called once we are closing the menu suppose we are, i'm clicking on uh, anywhere in the page not on the menu then it will be call on close or if i'm clicking on any button then also it will call this for that it is close menu and here i am setting the anchor as null and once the menu is open then i'll set the anchor as event dot current target that means that i'm setting the anchor as okay this is event for this button so if i'm clicking it here then you can see that it is opening this menu above this button so let me add some padding margin here suppose the margin top is 30 and margin left is 40 now it moves here then i'm clicking it here then you can see that is opening uh, above this button so the anchor below, then you can see that it's always opening at the same position here so let me change the margin top to 130 then suppose it is 140 and it is moved here but if i'm clicking it here then it's opening it here on the left side for that i need to pass this anchor 
the click here then you can see that it's opening above this button if i click on this menu and if i click on any item then you can see that it's actually not selecting this item we need to use something different so let me create one array here suppose it's options and here i am adding this first okay first and second third fourth now so i create one more state it is selected and set selected for this i am using one state this state minus one so by def uh, at the start time it is minus one and here i will use these options so and i'm gonna add this map here so using this map we can get uh, iterate over each of these items and for each of these items we can create one menu item so here i'm gonna add this menu item and here i'll add this option okay let me save it if i now click on it then it's showing this but still if i'm clicking on any of these items then it's not hiding for that i need to use one more method here so let me also give one key for this each of this menu item and we can also give this on click for on click we can get the event and here let me create one new function on menu item click and here we can pass the event and also the index of each of this item this index we can pass it here so let me create this on menu item click so here i'm getting this event and the index and inside this the first thing i'm gonna do once one item is clicked then i'll set the anchor as null and a second thing is that i'll since i selected this value this selected value as the current index so what we can do we can show one uh, this menu item as selected if the current index is same as this menu items index for that we need to use one more property it's called selected so here we can check if the index for this menu item is equal to the current selected value so if i now click on this item then you can see that this second is selected if i click on this port this is there now but this port is selected similarly if the part is first is selected then this we can also set the maximum height that we want for a menu so let me add few more here now this is the menu suppose we want to show only three and then we need to use one more props it's called paper props so here we can pass the style as the max height so the max height is each of this item is taking 40 so suppose we want to show like 3 then we can multiply it with 3 and also we can set the width suppose it is 26 then we can uh, change the width as well so now if i click on it here then you can see that it is only showing three i need to scroll it here so if i want to show three items and the fourth items a little bit then this is you can also change the animation that is used to show this menu so for that we need to use one more props let me remove this one 
okay it's called transition component this one so here we can uh, import some predefined transitions in material ui so one is called fade so you'll see that this fade is imported from material ui core so if i now click on it then it's it will be different then similarly i can also import this slide now if you check it it is sliding then one more it's called grow it's different then one more transition we have it's called zoom it's not imported let me import this one okay now if i click on it here then you can see that it's zooming so these are the basics of menu in material UI code so if you love this video please like it and please subscribe if you have not and also if you have any questions please drop one comment below thanks bye